Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Cardano or ADA. I'll cover wave analysis with LA2 theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on weekly time frame, let's take a look at the RSI first. Um, just by looking at the price uh, highs here, we can take a pivot or trend line pivot from there to the next one, which is again here. And whoops, what happened there? Um, and then we can see that we're almost there to test this again. Of course, we have still more downside to go if we want to, but we'll see what happens. Um, once this trend line is broken, we can uh, look higher and, uh, and yeah, higher prices. I'm not sure if that is going to be corrective or impulsive, but we'll see. Um, overall, again, back here, this is drawn in as Binance did not have that price history back in here. So that's why I've just drawn it in. I think it was from going to or coin market cap that I got this from. So overall, we have two different scenarios. One is saying that we have a one, two in cycle and another one, two. Let's go to daily so we can see some structure here. Um, and then, yeah. The way two would make sense that since we have already come down around the 87% area, um, so yeah, it def definitely makes more sense than, than a wave four. Um, overall, we have that scenario here as well, in which we have a one, two, three, and then ABC as an expanded flat into wave four. We are, we are right around that 0.5 retracement of this third leg, so which makes this a bit less likely. likely. <laughs> um, but yeah, nothing is certain as of yet. Invalidation for this wave four is around the 15.46 cents. But again, before this, we have two different areas that we're looking forward um, as a target. On, let's take a look at the arithmetic scale first version. And in this one, again, as mentioned, we had this as an A, B and C. So, Taking a look at this on four hour, we can see that we have a one, two, three, four, and possible fifth coming down. Within that, that fifth, we have a one, two, three, four, and five coming down. Now, we'll look into this uh, structure in here in a bit more detail in just a moment. But before that, uh, I want to show you uh, some targets that I had here. Um, had here for the last legs. Um, this looks a bit different, I think. I might slip this bit. No, that should be fine. Yep, that should be fine. Okay, so on, on this smaller time frame, we do not have a good looking target here within this white box. Uh, on higher time frames, uh, for this green count, for this larger uh, one, two, three, four, five. We do have that one target at around 30 cents, one to one extension um, of the uh, third uh, to the fifth. Oh, sorry, zero to three, which is starting from here, just because we don't really have a big uh, extension here, right? So that's why I'm measuring like that. Um, also the ABC 2.618 again, which is pretty much the maximum we want to see here um, around that same area of 29 cents. Don't really have that any specific area here on the on the smaller time frame. But again, uh, around that 30 cents area is very nice target. We also see that we have some kind of volume profile coming in and the drop off is right around here at 29 cents or 30 cents starting to uh, lose volume here, so this volume node is getting less confident the down the more down the price goes, right? So that is one idea. Um, other idea here is that instead of this ABC, we are having this as a one, two, three, four, five. So this would be an A wave or something, right? So this would be way way more bearish overall. Um, once this whole structure is in and we start to see what kind of retracements we are getting uh, or impulse wave one or the other um, we can determine if this is viable at all or not um, of course the way b if this is indeed the a wave down here 
we could get that B wave and then again C wave would most likely take out the high or lows of A wave and get us way lower. Now let's take a look at the other possibility here, which is the uh, WXY counts and this is best viewed on arithmetic scale. Why? Because, uh, well, just the extensions are well better or way better here on arithmetic on this count. So that's why. In here again, one, two, three, four, five, very wonky looking A wave, three waves in B, and then again, five waves in W. Oh, sorry, wave C into W. Then again, three waves, three waves, and five waves uh, into wave C, and then into wave X. So overall, W, X, and Y. Uh, within this Y, we have this as a uh, contracting diagonal, and then we have a B wave, and then again looking for a partner for this first leg here, uh, in here. In this one, again, uh, we have our targets here as a 1, 2, 3, 4, and currently looking for that last leg of wave 5. Um, in here, higher time frame targets are right around the 17 cent area. Again, the 30 cents area are targets for the ABC count were a bit higher. So those are the ones that we're going to be monitoring first um, if they are going to be holding. If not, then the 17 cent area is definitely going to be another one of interest. In this one, we can see that volume is starting to come in very rapidly here on this area. So most likely we're going to be stuck here. Yeah. Um, if that 30 cents area breaks. Um, so within this last leg, let's take a look at what we have. We had two different ideas overall uh, before. Uh, let's move that. And neither of them are looking too good at the moment. Um, this idea of having five waves is only possible if we are making it like that. But the issue with this one again is that third wave is way larger than the uh, than the wave one here, which would mean that if we have some kind of overlap, then we are not going to be going to be having a diagonal at all. At the moment, there is no real good look um, into this diagonal, and we don't need to even make it a diagonal at all, since we have the other scenario in which we have this a uh, one, two, three four and then five. At the moment, this could be looking like another one, two here, um, as we are creating new lows here on RSI, at least locally. We still have these lower lows here on the third um, than we have here on the fifth, and definitely would be liking to keep those as we would definitely want to have that divergence on higher time frame with third and fifth. Although this again, third, or the RSI is measured on the close. So we need to be thinking about that as well. Um, what else? Well, not much. Uh, at the moment, again, I'm thinking this to be some kind of one, two setup and this most likely a one, two. Um, this is very odd looking structure on RSI um, and not quite sure about what that is. Indeed, again, if this is indeed a one, two, uh, we could have some one of these lows here as a three, but not nothing too convincing here, to be honest. Um, we are getting some kind of pullback now uh, after the CPI data had been released, and we could be having this as a third, fourth, and fifth. And now we would be climbing uh, higher to take, uh, create this as a one, two, three, four, and five, and then again, making this as a one, two. Again, if we are making that one, two, one, two overall here, then we would be very bearish. Um, I I'm not sure if we could hold that 30 cents area. Uh, let's actually actually just measure it. Uh, if with the proper um, most used most used retracement and extensions, we don't need time. Okay, so back to the golden pocket, 1.618. Oof, that is getting really close to the uh, 30 cents area. But again, this would only be the one, two, three, four, and five. And then we would have still this one here. So 
we'll see how it turns out um, at the moment. Uh, what is this? This was the higher time frame, I think. No, never mind. I'm chipping. Let's measure this one here. Hmm. It is one to one. Now, if we are pivoting here, there is also a chance that this is indeed some kind of three way move. And we are still within some one of the wave fours. So instead of this being wave four, we could have this as wave four or A, then B, and then C wave. But at that point again, we are really getting close to this invalidation point around the 53 cents area. Uh, but we'll see and monitor how, how this turns out to be. Uh, I'll keep you posted. But that is pretty much my expectations on ADA still. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.